got another question for the synoptic questions playlist so we're up to number 13 now as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first okay so for part a we've got to write this ion equation to show carbonate ions form an alkaline solution in water so the important thing there is it's got to form an alkaline solution so we've got to generate hydroxide ions so if we take the carbonate ion and some water there's the hydroxide ion so what's left is a hydrogen carbonate ion part b is a bit tricky i think so we've got to think about what's going on in the reaction so the phenylmethanol has been oxidized of under reflux so it will generate um, benzoic acid but these hydroxide ions are going to take the H plus ion from the benzoic acid and generate benzoate ions. So the reason the reaction mixture needs to be acidified is to protonate this benzoate ion and generate the benzoic acid. Moving on to part C, so phenylmethanol is essentially a primary alcohol and it's been oxidized under reflux so it's going to be oxidized twice first to the aldehyde and then to the benzoic acid. So we need two moles of oxidizing agent, but we only generate one mole of water and that's formed in that first oxidation from the primary alcohol to the aldehyde. Moving on to part D, the percentage yield calculation. The catch here is the fact that they've given us the volume of phenylmethanol and its density. So we can turn that into a mass by multiplying them together. So we've got 4.16 grams of the alcohol. So when you divide that by its MR, we get that many moles of the alcohol. If you look at the ratio in the equation, we should expect to get the same number of moles of the benzoic acid. So next thing we'll do is work out the actual moles of benzoic acid we've got from those 1.59 grams, which comes out at that many moles. So dividing the actual over the expected, Multiplying by 100, we get a percentage yield to three significant figures of 33.8. Now, the mark scheme for this question did allow 33.9 for some slight rounding up here. Part E, we've just got to go through the essentials of recrystallization. I'll give a fuller answer that's worth more than two marks for sort of revision purposes, if you like, and I'll explain what they expected for the two marks for this question. So first thing you do is dissolve the impure crystals in the minimum volume of hot solvent. All of that was required. Now for the next mark, there's four separate things you've got to say. So the first one is you cool the mixture. The extra information, if the question was worth more than two marks, you would say cool and scratch the side of the beaker with a glass rod and that will help generate the crystals. Next thing you'd say is filter it, and the extra detail for that is under reduced pressure, or you could say using Buckner apparatus. Next thing you need to say, and you need to say all of this, wash with cold solvent. Obviously, hot solvent would re-dissolve it, and we don't want that. And the final thing you'd need to say is dry. So for that second mark, you'd need to say cool, filter, wash with cold solvent, and dry.